there really hasn't been a show like The Walking Dead. Sure, there are other zombie TV shows, but The Walking Dead was once the most popular show on television. I felt like I couldn't go anywhere without talking to somebody about it, and if you compare that to what it's become now, most people I talk to don't even know that it's still on. There are a lot of reasons for the show's decline, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video because I'm here to talk about the greatest character in the show and one of my personal favorite characters of all time, Rick Grimes. In more ways than one, Rick is the true essence of The Walking Dead, and I'm going to explain why that is in this video. Not only was Rick our protagonist who we were first introduced to, he was the physical interpretation of the audience themselves. Rick was obviously his own character with his own motivations and intentions and personality. I'm not saying that he's like the Master Chief and the player is actually him. I'm talking about his mindset and how that changes throughout the show and our mindset as viewers changes along with him. There's a singular moment in the show when Rick truly turns a corner, but before I get into that scene, I need to go over his history in the show. But before I go over his history in the show, if you're new to the channel, I'm the Thrifty Typewriter. I cover all sorts of things related to fantasy, mystery, and sci-fi, so if those are things that you enjoy, consider browsing my channel, and if you like what you see, you should hit that subscribe button. now. On to the video. At the beginning of the show, Rick has his world completely turned upside down when he wakes up in a hospital in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. He has one goal and one goal only, to find his family. He soon realizes the dangers of this world around him with the help of Morgan, and sees that if he's ever going to find his family, he's going to have to fight. Rick is a police officer and still sees the world as black and white. There's the good, and there's the bad. Rick keeps this mindset for a while, becoming a natural leader to the group he eventually meets when he reunites with his family. However, there's another police officer in that group, Rick's best friend Shane, who has seen the world for what it truly is. It's no longer black and white, it's all gray. Their relationship strains over the course of the two seasons Shane is in the show, until Rick ultimately has to kill him. As audience members, we see Shane do these horrible things like killing Otis and forcing Herschel to open his barn, and we think, wow, this Shane guy is a real dick. But looking back at the show, Shane wasn't a dick, he was just ahead of the curve. Sure, he had some issues with obsessing over Lori, but that's not the point that I'm trying to make. We're happy to see Rick get rid of Shane, even though we know it's hard for Rick to kill his best friend. It's just what needed to be done. While Shane's mindset wasn't parallel with Rick's at the time, it wasn't soon after he was gone that Rick would realize Shane was right all along. Rick has his first human kills in the episode Nebraska, which is a few episodes before Rick would kill Shane, but it showed us the first glimpse into what Rick Grimes would become, and it's a lot more like Shane than I think anybody realized. Rick realized that it was him or them, much like Shane realized about Otis. With Shane gone in their lives, Rick has to step up as a leader at the prison, especially when the governor comes into the picture. Rick realizes that humans can be just as, if not more dangerous, than the walkers roaming the earth. It's his time at the prison that slowly forces Rick to stop seeing the world as black and white. They don't live in a civilized time anymore. It's not a democracy. And in the beginning of season four, the prison flourishes. They have their own community, Rick slowly starts to separate from this morally gray mindset with the help of Herschel, because everything has been going so great. Maybe they could rebuild. He has a baby, they could slowly start building the prison into a home, and bring a sense of reality back to the world when they- All is lost. The family that Rick's been taking care of is shattered, possibly dead, his baby has presumably been killed, and the world cannot be saved. They are all too far gone. As Rick tries to find his family once again, holding on to his last ounce of goodness, the claimers show up and change Rick forever, forcing his mindset to not only be more similar to Shane's, but even worse. With so much evil in the world and the terrible things that have happened to Rick, this is the moment where he snaps. He had to kill his best friend, mourn the death of his wife and baby, kill other human beings in a world where there's literal monsters roaming the streets, and Rick's had enough. He will do whatever it takes to survive, and if you're in his way, you won't be for very long. Because of everything Rick's been through, because of everything we, the audience, have been through, we're happy to see Rick do what it takes to survive, both in this moment, at Terminus, and the whole Murderbeard era. 
What? This world is horrible and filled with horrible people and creatures, but we've been on this journey with Rick for so long that we see him as our leader. And no matter what he does, he's the good guy, right? Well then why wasn't Shane the good guy when he was in the show? He did everything Rick was doing now, only it was a different time and a different Rick we were rooting for. I remember watching this show with my mom and she talked about how Shane was right about everything and we all looked at her like she was crazy because Shane was just so obviously evil, but seeing Rick murder and do what it takes to survive in season 5 was completely fine because we want Rick to win, even though he's not better than Shane was, and in fact, he's done some things that would probably be overboard even to Shane. Rick was the true essence of The Walking Dead because whatever his mindset was, was going to be the audience's mindset. The show was really a character study of Rick Grimes and his mindset eventually becoming just like Shane's. When we saw that happen, the show's story was supposed to be about Rick realizing that and doing everything he could to become a moral leader to help rebuild the world. But it wasn't about that, and therein lies the reason why The Walking Dead failed to keep my interest. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, am I wrong, did I miss anything? I'd love to discuss some opinions about this topic because I love talking Rick Grimes and The Walking Dead. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.